This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel K and I'm back with another toy review. And today, Jada Toys Metal Figs Bumblebee with light up eyes. And this is a gift from my uh, wife uh, for St. Valentine. So depending on when this aired, uh, either it's been, you know, a while back or, you know, uh, recently. So. Uh, and there's the try me of course he's already out because well you guys know me i can't uh, keep my hands off my toys uh so they have the same mistake on this one that they had with optimus where the artwork from mark watts is backwards um so that's odd but it's a uh, really nice uh you know to cross sell the product i, I hope they do more uh of course you know it's gonna be megatron and so Soundwave, and then after that grimlock and you know, shockwave, or it's always the same thing when they do licensing stuff. So. But I like this guy, so uh, thanks for stopping by. Before I do the review, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature on my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out DJC Collectibles, my sponsor, a fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now let's roll the intro. with Bumblebee from Jada Toys. A uh, nice box, you know, Jada, Transformers, The Grid, very uh, 80s. And you have the original artwork from Mark Watts. Even the uh, Autobot logo um, is from uh, his art. So I'm hoping he's getting residual for this. He deserves it. Um, and then you have the cross sell, the flipped out image. Um, I hope they do more characters really I I do so it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be fun and this is gonna be a quicker review because there's really no articulation anything to speak of but there is a nice little gun uh, that's the uh, classic bumblebee gun can't go wrong with that uh, it's well done uh, it's, it has a nice weight to it uh, could use a couple details but uh, you know like paint but uh, you know the nice uh, silver like that and then you have this gunmetal uh, rifle. I don't recall where that's from. A sniper, maybe it's another franchise. Not franchise, but I mean another continuity than G1. Uh, or maybe it's some gun that I just don't recall. But it looks really good. Um, too bad that the handle doesn't fit uh, Optimus Prime because I could have uh, put that on him too. Uh, but the hole is different. Uh, the figure itself, well, it, I probably should have done that f sooner, but there was a the original Tempergraft uh, design here on the uh, light-up switch is um, misaligned, so I just put a Toy Hex uh, decal on it, and it kind of fits uh, real nice. Um, and uh, there's, you know, really not much to say for articulation and stuff, but it's just so cool to have these. I mean, the, the face... I. It's a little, I don't know, too bubbly. Like it's like he's uh, he has a mouth guard inside, you know, like to protect his teeth. That's the feel I'm getting. Uh, but I love the uh, the color of the uh, the silver for the face, the yellow all around, uh, the, the you know darker gray, almost black for the shoulders, the fist, and the legs. Looks really good. Nice uh, painted windows, uh, clear blue. You know, cell shaded would have been nice, but we'll take that. Uh, headlight, looking good. Uh, but of course, it doesn't transform. So the yellow really matches what we expect from Bumblebee. And uh, yeah, so there's, you know, a slight rotation. You get your uh, Ferris wheel on both hand. And then on the head, uh, it goes. Maybe there's a 90 degree uh, rotation from left to right. Don't want to force it like you could, but... Who wants that and in the back that's really cool he has his little uh, spare wheels but that's really nice and then here's the screw if you want to remove that uh, to change the batteries inside so I like that 
Uh, could have painted the wheels here. That would have been nice. Uh, you know, kind of like the G1 toy. I don't know. It's it's probably would have made uh, you know little sense. So, and oh, you can't see the light up. Let me remove that. We're going to just show you the light up action action in a second. Um, actually, you know what? Let's do some size comparison first. So here's Bumblebee with well, let's uh, put his little gun. There you go. Square peg. That's unique. So there you go. Here's Bumblebee with Walmart reissue G1 Bumblebee, Jada Toys Nano Metal Fig Bumblebee, and Jada Toys Optimus Prime. And they look really good together. And they scale well too. I mean, you know, Bumblebee's a bit shorter. Yep. I really like these guys. And now to show you with the uh, light up action. There you go. Bumblebee and Optimus Prime. Looks really good. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much it. I mean, there's not much to go over. It's just a cool little piece to have. You know, and like I said, I hope that they make more characters. I mean, it, I wish they would give us two hands to hold guns. So that, you know, like the gun, I wouldn't have to, uh, you know, store it while I use wielding the axe or stuff like that. But overall, not disappointed at all to have these guys in my collection. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also leave a comment, low reading notes, keep coming back, I have more on the way, and remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.